Rosário. My name is Pastor Torrance Sales or Pastor T. Some people know me as Pastor Short T because I'm a gospel hip hop artist and we tour the school system and, and uh, I've been all over this world. So a lot of times I have to open it up with hip hop because whether you know it, hip hop has affected your life, believe it or not. That's the reason the 300, uh, the Chrysler 300 has 22 inch rims on it. Hip hop did that. <laughs> because somebody in the hood said, I'm going to put some bigger rims on that little temp, the little pinto they had. So, let me open it up like this. It's the preach preacher with the muscle that pumps got bop. It's the preach preacher with the muscle that pumps God. This is R and R really raw, but it's all love. Royal priesthood label peculiar. For my talk my gear plus the way that I minister. A champion always T pressing forward. 3D moon walking out of your orbit. All religious talk really distorted. Cost on the cross, yo, he paid it forward. So I gotta take his word to the other coast. Save souls from the burbs down to the gutter most. Do my thing in my lane on the narrow. Enemies love on them, keeping them real close. I share Jesus with hookers, dealers, and hard cussers. I plant the seed, got works, and they get converted. Straight bring the thunder, call it Kevin Durant. Knocking demons out the box, ducking like Athlan. That's the word of God for the people of God. Come on. few minutes to do work here, so I'm going to do what most preachers don't do. I'm going to be brief. <laughs> and then we can pass the offering plate. Okay. I'm going to be coming out of 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter. And it reads as this. I'm going to start with uh, verse 12, and then I'm going to drop down. For as the body is one, hath many members, all members of the body being our one body, so also is Christ. Say one body. One body. Now I'm going to drop down to verse 25 and finish reading it. That there should be no schisms in the body, but that members should have the same care for one another. And whether one member suffers, all members suffer with it. And one member is honored, all members rejoice with it. Now ye are the body of Christ, and severally members thereof. And that's the word of God for the people of God, and thanks be to God. Now, let everybody say, one team. One team. Let me hear you say it again. Say one team. One team. That's what I'm talking about today because the scripture just taught us that we are one body. We are one body, so we are one team. Most people break down the word team and it says together everyone accomplishes more. So let me tell my baseball players something here today. I don't care how great your fastball is. I don't care how great your curve breaks. I don't care how good your glove is. You are not the whole team because we are one team. Say one team. One team. It doesn't matter that they're saying you're super stud. It means that you are part of a team and you cannot win the game by yourself. Come on, somebody. Amen. Now, let me call some brothers up. Excuse me. Let me get one of you guys, one of the Bulldogs. Come on up. You in the black shirt, Wildcat. Come on up. Uh, let me get one of the regulators. Come on up, Lucas. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, you right there, Patriot. Come on up. Yeah, come on. Now, I want to demonstrate something that's very simple and plain. Now, we got these guys right here. And we see that they're all different teams, correct? We agree on that. So, I'm not, hey, I, I got a little bit of education, so I can figure that much out. But I'm here to tell you, the one thing we can't agree on, even though they're on different teams, each team wants to win, but we are all playing the game of baseball, right? Okay, we're playing the game of baseball. Well, this is the problem we have in church. We got Southern Baptist right here. We got United Methodist right here. We got Church of Christ right here. We got Assembly of God right here. We got I Just Want Jesus right here. We got the name that spreads all the way across the banner of the most holy of holy Pentecostal, charismatic of the most holy God in the place of the faith, church right here. <laughs> now, but regardless of your denomination, we are one body, one faith, and can we come in agreement that it's all about Jesus? Amen. Can we come in agreement that it's about saving souls so it doesn't matter what team he's on or what church you go to, what it means is, is that our one goal is to save souls and change lives. Have a seat, Have a seat. Have a seat. That's the big thing that we got to understand, that even though I'm up here, I need you guys. 
even though I'm bringing the word, there comes a place in time that we must understand that this is bigger than us. It's bigger than short T. It's bigger than any baseball player. It's bigger than any coach. Let me tell you, President Obama found out real quick that he has to have Congress behind him. He couldn't get nothing approved. He said, I want a bottle of water. They said, we got to approve that. So now you got everybody that's running for office and they're saying, hey, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. They can't do nothing unless everybody works as a team. So there's a story in the Bible about this brother by the name of Moses. Say Moses. Moses. Well, Moses was in a battle. And God had spoke to him to get his homeboys. He said, go get Aaron and go get her. Now, I'm not talking about her over there. I'm not talking about H-E-R, I'm talking about H-U-R. That was one of his homeboys. So, come here, my man. In the slides, come here. Now, Baseball Academy, Birmingham Baseball Academy, come here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. You better come. I used to coach him, so. Hey, now, God spoke to Moses and said, go up on the hill. Now, there was a battle going on, and they knew that Moses was the dude because Moses, he could handle all the pressure. So he got with his homeboys, and when he got with his partners, he said, now, when you lift your hands up, he said, you'll be winning the battle. So when I lift my hands up, I need y'all to start yelling. And when I let them down, y'all stop. Let's try it. Yeah. Oh, man, y'all smart. Y'all got, got about 12th grade education, I think so. OK, now, so as long as Moses was lifting his hands up, he was winning the battle. But I don't know about you. But if I keep holding my hands up, my arms will get tired. So Moses got to a point that he said, you know, Lord, my arms are tired. I can't do this no more. That's where the body of Christ comes in. So his homeboys, you grab this arm, this arm, and he, that's when he won the battle. Because his homeboys helped him to accomplish the mission and win the battle. So then he got the power because he won the battle to name the place. See, when you win, you got an opportunity to name what it was. See, so he named the place Jehovah Nisi, which means that God is my banner. So he could keep looking up and say, God, you did it, it wasn't me. Good job, guys, give it up for them. All right. So what I'm trying to get you to understand today is this. When you're going through something, you're gonna need some help. You can't do it all by yourself. That's the reason God said it in his scriptures, where two or more are gathered in my name. He's right here in the midst. So anybody that's watching this video, that's watching me, and you're saying, he talking about church out there? Yeah, and we're having church out here. Say church. church. Yeah, we're having church out here under the heavenlies, all different teams, white, black, all different denominations. We are having church out here because I believe this is the picture of the body of Christ. Come on. My final point is this right here. On yesterday, my partner's son was buried. He's 11 years old. And that was a tough time for me because I remember him coming down and rapping with his dad. I remember him playing against my son's football team. And he was a great athlete. But you know, I saw people all gathered there together. And you know what? My partner got up there and did a tribute to his son and put the football in the casket. And then they did that chant that they do for the football team. But he said, with all the people that helped him to get through it, he's at peace. So I'm here to tell you today that you must understand one thing. You can't do it by yourself. There's gonna be a time that you're gonna need somebody. And you don't need to just get with anybody. You don't need to get with Pookie and Bebe and them that's talking crazy. You need to get somebody, get with somebody that know the Lord, that's gonna speak into your life and tell you the truth. That's what you gotta do. And that's how we roll. Because we gotta lift each other up. And when you have a good thing happen to you, we gotta rejoice and stop hating. Oh, uh, hello, somebody. Uh, I just stepped on some toes right there. Hey. I think I got a few haters around here. Okay, it's okay. But you know, I'm telling you, the biggest thing we could do is lift each other up. Lift each other up. If that kid goes on to do great things, say, I'm happy for you. Don't be hating that it didn't happen to your kid. It's another lane for your son or daughter to go do something great. 
because greatness is on each and is in each and every one of them. Are y'all with me on that? Amen. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. It wouldn't be right if I didn't give an opportunity for you to get to know the Lord. And when I say get to know the Lord, I mean have a relationship with him. Meaning that you, hey, that you good with Jesus and we go on to heaven. Because we got to have a relationship to go to heaven. Lil Ryan has a relationship and he's gone to heaven. They called it, he's in the Heaven's Hall of Fame, they called it yesterday. He got elected to Heaven's Hall of Fame and he's sitting there with God. And I don't want nothing to happen to nobody here and you say, dog, short T didn't take our time to tell me about this. And number two, if you're here and you, you gave your life to the Lord and you messed up, that's okay. Because as long as his breath is still in your body, you can come on back. Because God got open arms. So, do me a favor. Me and Brother Darren are going to watch the crowd. You just bow your head, take off your cap, and I'm going to do an altar call. Where you at? And all you're going to have to do is lift your hand when I call it out. If you want to give all over, me and Brother Darren watching, and I'm just going to recognize that we're going to do a prayer together. Plain and simple, you're not going to be embarrassed. Now, if you say, Short T, I want that, that relationship you're talking about. I want to get closer to Jesus. I want to try to, I want to, try to walk this thing out. Or you say, I'm the one that messed up and done some wrong in my life, and I want to get back right with God. I gave my life to the Lord before, but I need to get back right. If that's you, just raise your hand. Put it up, put them down. Put them up, put them down. Amen. I see that hand. Put them up, put them down. Put them up, put them down. Amen. Amen. Now, I need y'all to just repeat this prayer after me. It's plain and simple. And afterwards, if you need to come holler at your boy, come talk to me. Talk to a coach. After your game, come talk to me about it, and I'll be glad to talk to you. Say, dear God, dear God, I'm a sinner, I'm a sinner in, need of a in need of a Savior. I believe, I believe that your son Jesus, your son Jesus died, for my sins. died for my sins. He went to the grave, went to the grave and got up from the grave, from the grave with, all with all power in his head. In his head. Now, God, now, God, I, I am, am saved. saved. Give it up for the Lord. Amen. For those that are going through anything, I speak in the name of Jesus and I pray that anything you're going through, whether it be divorce, whether it be financial issues, whatever it may be, that God, you believe in God and you will overcome that. And that's in Jesus' name. I'm Short T. I'm a champion. I change lives and I be a champion. Holla at your boy.